welcome back to my channel. My name is Lari. I am currently in the truck with my husband. We're on our way back from Arizona. We're still we're still in Arizona, but we're on our way home. The last video you guys uh, saw was a week of crochet with me. This is gonna be another week of crochet, but we're also getting ready for a market this weekend. We have a market on June 10th. It's going to be. I don't even know where it's actually gonna be. I need to figure that out. Um, so I have a market this weekend that I need to prep for and I will be doing that. I still, I have a good majority of stuff, but if you guys haven't seen the last video, go check it out. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be having in the market, I showed in the last video. My mom, who, those of you who don't know, in with my crochet business, my mom works with me. She makes, she helps me with markets, with prepping. So whenever I come to Arizona, I get to pick up stuff from her that she's made. So she made lots of cows. She made lots of leggy froggies. She made some really, really cute turtles. We all know how much I love turtles. Um, but yeah. La and we're also gonna be basically doing check-ins on the mushroom order for those of you who know know that we got consignment so that means I am gonna have some products in a store and also um, the company that I'm working with is going to be taking our wall vendor is gonna be taking my mushroom holders and they're gonna be going to life is beautiful which is a really big event in Vegas and they asked me to make 300 mushroom holders and currently, I think in the last video, the last time I did a check-in was 15 of them. And right now, I have this bag full. We are at 27. Uh, I do need 30 ready and done um, to be taken to the actual store because she wants 30 in store. And I need to make different colors. So maybe you guys can comment down below what colors I should make the tops. I know for sure I'm going to do red. But for the, that, this will actually help me. I was like, what are colors that you guys would want to see? I have like purple, I have a really like aqua teal. I'm thinking oranges, greens. What are we thinking? I need help on that. And let me see what else. So we're at 27, like I said there. So we're gonna be working on those this week for sure. Cause we need to do tops to them. Cause right now I only have bottoms. And since I have a four and a half hour ride, I mean, I've been kind of kind of lullagagging right now. But um, I'm gonna be working on these again. We have the paparuskis in the back right now. We have our big girl Chai Chai. Hold on. She's over there. We got our little sissy mini over here. And guys, this weekend, let me tell you, has been a shit show because, well, we came into Arizona. Let me give you a little backstory on why we came. We came because my sister got um, accepted into medical school, so she's gonna be going to medical school. So she's leaving us for two years. So fucking proud of her, it's amazing. Um, but anytime we come to Arizona, I stay with my parents and we bring my dogs. And usually, all of my dogs are very well behaved animals. <laughs> like my girls are good girls. No, they decide to act a fucking fool this weekend. Minnie, the white one, decides to get her head stuck in a hole. So we had to use like pliers to get her out. She has like cuts behind her ears. It was a whole show. That was in itself, right? I was crying, whatever. Chai was just being, not destructive, destructive? That's the right way to say it. She was just being crazy. Like she like was just like super like, how would you say baby? Like just like super like energetic, like couldn't like sit still. Like. Yeah, she, she, she just needed a really spiritual Yeah, so she was just kind of crazy. And guys, the worst thing that has happened. So we go to, my sister like celebrated her going away party at a pool party. So obviously the dogs were home while we were over there. Chai's usually in a kennel when we leave her just because, you know, just to be safe. And usually because Tink is old and Minnie is old, they don't get into trouble. Like they don't do things. They don't chew on items. They, they're, they're very good dogs. Tell me why Tinkarooski over here, our little Chihuahua Vita, you guys see her back there, she's sleeping. She got stuck. Like we think she got stung by a bee or maybe she ate a bee or we get there. I didn't take a picture, but her whole like chin into her neck was swollen, swollen. Like if we tried to look to see if there was bite marks or if there was like a, a something, there was nothing. Yesterday it was really, really bad. And now she's good. Like her, she's still swollen, but not as bad. Now it's like smaller. Um, I like touched it, felt it to see if it was hurting her. Didn't hurt. 
but I just wanted to give you guys a little recap of what happened my weekend. That was how my weekend went. Let me know if you guys actually enjoy the market days and we'll record the day of the market and show you guys how that's gonna go because I have a lot, new, a lot of new stuff that I wanna set up. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys. We are at 800 subscribers. I have no idea how this is happening. Honestly, grateful for everyone who's in the comments, people that are messaging or that are commenting from Ireland, Jamaica, welcome. Um, that's so fucking cool. So yeah, enjoy the video guys. So we're 40 minutes away from home now. Uh, so we are almost done with this. Basically, how long babe? Four and a half hour drive. Um, so last time I checked, I was at 27. Um, of these mushroom holders. They have a bunch of like the <laughs> string on them right now. And I actually was able to finish, so I have all 30 now. So then I went in with this yarn and I started doing the tops. So I went ahead and started making these guys and putting them together. So once I finished the full 30, I started doing these and currently just a little update, I am at four. I'm gonna show you guys. I'll show you what they look like a little more up close. But, so this is what we're looking at. The bottom, the tops. I like to add these little white accents on them. And I don't like to make them all the same just because no mushroom is the same. It's how I feel about my bees and all that good stuff. So this is what they look like. So if you guys like how these look, this was a free pattern, so let me know in the comments below if you do want it. I don't ever like to gatekeep anything here just because when someone gatekeeps against me, I take it offensive. So <laughs> just let me know. I'm going to continue to do these for the next 40 minutes. I say that now, but I kind of have a headache. We'll see. Alright guys, I am back in Vegas. I'm in Refined Vibes headquarters. Uh, like I mentioned, I was working on the mushroom order. We are at 30 of the actual holders. And then now I need to work on the tops. So that I was able to do on the way back um, four of these tops and finish up. So like this is what they're looking like. I obviously need to weave in the ends and add the details. The ones that I was able to get done. Aren't they so cute? Let me show you guys. So right now... I have a lighter with me because I wanted to make sure that the lighter looked good in there. Um, I ended up changing up the pattern a little bit. I added one more round to the top so it's able to be moved up and down. I added one more because I want the lighter, since it's taller than a chapstick, to be fully covered. And look at that. And it's perfect. Oh, I'm so happy with it. All my mushrooms are never going to be the same. They're all going to look a little different with um, the details I put on top. But look at that. Easy. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm going to be working on that this week. I have a, like I said, um, I think the breakdown is I just got an order for a hippo. I'm really excited. I think they want it to be green, like a, like a light green and a dark green. I'm really excited about that. Uh, as well as I need to do a unicorn so we're also going to be working on that don't know if I'm going to do that today or if I should work on these um, in store um, I don't know if I already mentioned um, they need 30 of them so this pack right here is what's going to be going to the store uh, so I have 5 of the tops done I just need 25 more I love doing the tops they're super simple uh, they don't take a long time The bottoms don't take a long time either. So This is just a really time-friendly crochet uh, If you guys want the pattern to it, just let me know and I will link it down below Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone who's commenting. I appreciate it. It's really cool But I have something really exciting look guys <clears throat> The box of yarn came in the yarn that i told you i was so excited about in the last video so this is like technically like my first like bulk order of yarn i am so excited because it's like i didn't think i was gonna get to this point you know usually i go to joanne's and i will go and just pick up colors 
and it's a fun little ride for me but I saw a lot of uh, fellow crocheters uh, like this one girl that I watch I know many of you probably watch her too crochet by crochet by Jenna she gets a lot of her stuff from Premier Yarns, Michaels and stuff, and I love her content, love her. Her sea turtles are so cute. So I wanted to try Premier Yarns, and this is just a bunch of chunky yarn in here in a bunch of different colors. And I don't know about you, but I love watching videos of people like showing their yarn hauls. So I'm going to show you guys my yarn haul. Um, I believe... There's like 27 balls of yarn in here, which I thought the, bag, the box was going to be bigger, but maybe they smushed them up in here, and I'm going to be opening this. So sit back. Let's see what is in the box. All right. Let me use my knife. It's cut away from me. My husband gets nervous with me around knives because he... Somehow I always end up cutting myself. I've been trying to be a little more knife safe, to say the least. Oh, I'm so excited. I know I opened this up upside down, but it is what it is. <gasps> oh my gosh, I already see them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This is in the color blue. I got three of them. Look, this is what I don't understand. Look, so it says super bulky. So it should be the same. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Look, it says super bulky. And this one is a six super bulky. So maybe they are the same. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm blind. Let me put on my glasses real quick. Nah, yeah, it still looks the same. <laughs> but so anyways, look at this blue, guys. This is the first one I decided to do. Let's open her up so we can see the color and I can feel it. My question is, where the hell am I going to fit this stuff? I have no idea. I'm probably going to have to keep it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Come on. Focus. Let me put it not upside down. Do you guys see that color? Isn't that so pretty? So each one comes with 131 yards. And it's 100 grams of yarn. And I had like a 20% off. So I think for this whole box, I paid like $114. Just to keep that in mind. So 27 um, balls of yarn. And I paid $114. I feel like that's really good. But hold on. Just so I show you guys, I'm not tripping. Okay, you see? Let's see the difference in yarn. Because this is saying that it's super bulky. But like, maybe it's just a difference. And I'm showing you guys this just because like, I mean, I feel like this is stuff that I didn't know. Like, no, yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> it's the same lit. That's so crazy how like I feel like Burnett looks wider. But it's not. It's basically the same. I do think this is a little bit thinner. It's really soft. Like super soft. Wow. Okay. I feel kind of good now. All right. So there's the beautiful blue. And I'm just taking them out by how they are based in the box. So we're going to put that right there. I think my camera's going to die. We'll see. Look at this. Beautiful. We have this brown color in the color Teddy Bear. I really wanted to get... Um, I got. I basically wanted to order from Premier Yarns because I really wanted skin tone colors. Look at this brown. That is so pretty. Ah, Okay. I really wanted to get skin tone colors, like I told you, like I said in a different video. Um, I want to make mermaids, and I just haven't had the chance. I know I can make mermaids in like different colors, but I really wanted different skin tones. And my nieces in California want some mermaids, and I am a sucker for them, so I will be making them mermaids. What they ask the Aladi to do, the Aladi will do. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this green is freaking a vibe. Hold on. Do you guys want to see me open it? I don't know. Look at this green. This is key lime. Bro, that is beautiful. These colors are colors I don't see at Joann's. So, come on now. We have three of those. Toffee. Yep, this is toffee. This is another one of the skin colors I wanted to get. 
Should I be using scissors? It'd probably be easier and look way better, huh? Look at this. We got toffee. That's pretty. Oh, I wish you guys could feel this. For those of you who are planning on um, or have been wanting to order from Premier Yarns, so far so good. I was kind of scared right now when I looked at them because I'm like, holy shit, that looks like thin ass yarn. It's the same length. It's basically the same as um, Burnett Blanket. So I was tripping. It was my eyes. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is so pretty. <clears throat> my niece wants me to make a mermaid tail with this blue, so I am freaking excited. Julissa, if you're watching, if you like the blue, I hope you like it. This is the blue that you chose. I will be making it with that girl. This pink. Ooh, I'm not much of a pink gal, but this. This is beautiful. This is um, in the color coral. And we got three of those as well. All the colors you see here, I got three of each. Isn't that so pretty? I am so excited, guys. This is so much yarn. I'm so happy. Never did I think that at 24 years old, I'd be excited about yarn. I'm so excited. I'm also really tired, so if I seem tired, I'm so sorry, guys. I just got back from the gym and showered and stuff, so I kind of want to sleep, but sleep is for the dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. Um, this is in the color chocolate. Why am I... Sh let's, let's see. Now that we're halfway through, let's start using um, tools. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, I love the way that you look chunky. That makes sense. <laughs> look at that color. That is so pretty. I'm so excited for some nice, like, brown hair. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Love, 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 love it. Okay, we have some light, probably some light skin tones. I wanted, you guys see this? I wanted to get, cover as many skin tones as I could. Because we inclusive over here. It would make no sense for a Latina owned brand to not cover every freaking color. There's no way. We will not stand for it over here. We will have mermaids in every motherfucking color. Okay, hold on. I messed up and like threw everything. So let me show you this one. This is in the color shell. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Beautiful. So, so cute. Hmm. Step one. I didn't know that there was like instructions on how to pull out the yarn um you answer this for me it those of you who crochet do you guys pull from the inside and get your yarn there or do you guys start with the outside and just let it roll out please let me know because i am the person who goes on the outside and my mom is the person on the inside and i feel like when i pull from the inside i get like um knots so i don't know did i show you guys this color yet yeah look at this super pretty i love it Super, super pretty. Yeah, I should have definitely opened up all the first ones with freaking scissors. Look how nice this is versus like this barbaric way I opened this one. Girl, if my blush looks a little crazy, please don't mind me. I could have sworn I ordered red and I don't see any red in here. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm kind of crazy though. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm crazy. I didn't order red. <laughs> I didn't order any red. My favorite color is not yellow, but I love yellow things. So I don't know how that makes sense, but anything yellow, I freaking love. So this is the color sunshine. Sunshine. Have you guys seen the movie, uh, what is it, Remember the Titans? Sunshine, if you know what I'm talking about. So this is called Sunshine, and look at this yellow that is so pretty. So I believe Burnett Blanket like used to make a yellow like this, like when I first started crocheting. And for some reason, here in Vegas we only have two Joannes, right? And I, for the life of me, cannot find a yellow, I could not find a yellow like this anymore. I used to use this yellow for my uh, bees, 
so I had to switch over my bees to this yellow because Burnett Blanket wasn't showing me this yellow anymore. And look, look at the difference in yellows. They're both beautiful yellows, don't get me wrong, but I am a light pastel kind of beach. So like this is what I prefer. I did get this for the unicorn that I'm going to be doing. The person who ordered from me wanted a unicorn with white, yellow, and purple. And I have those colors. So I think pink as well. So I'm going to be incorporating these, these, this yellow in it. But look how beautiful that is. Guys, I'm so excited. This much yarn is really, really exciting. Even though, like, it looks like a lot because it's like three each. When in reality, it's like one of those of Burnett Blanket. So it's like one, two, three, four. Like, it's like nine balls of yarn. But let me live in my moment, okay? We have this one next. This one's name is Emerald. We love an emerald in this house. Oh my, my cousin just had a wedding. He just got married to his beautiful wife. And I was a bridesmaid and our dresses were emerald green and I was feeling myself. I love the color emerald green. Look at this. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, let me see if I can hold all of them together. Probably not. I probably can't. Let me see. Can we do another one? Look at this. This is only one, two, three, four, five of them. And I have four more, so it was nine. So this is what I'm working on with space. Wise, I have a lot of acrylic yarn, but I'll probably put some in there. And I am gonna put this stuff away. Also, you see this creepy thing back here? Let me show you. You see this? You see this guy? This? <laughs> well, I don't know where that yarn came from. We'll put that right there for right now. You see this guy who can't even keep his head up? This is the very first um, plushie I made. Isn't he scary? <laughs> like, there's so many. Th first of all, I made him inside out. So this is the. This is supposed to be on the inside. This is not what he's supposed to look like. But this took me, I think, four days to make look at him i just don't have the heart to get rid of him i don't want to throw him away i have he's very very funny looking but i love him first plush i made he was huge i didn't understand anything like i did not know how to attach anything like look at this N like <laughs> i just very humbling to see how i started and to see how things look now, like, it's just really cool. So I keep him just to remind me of how I started. Um, so if you guys got a name for him, let's name him. put them all back do I love how it looks no but I also don't love these things that I got off Amazon it just kind of ended up being what I could get to fit at the moment so I do want to find those really pretty like white squares I see all the cute crochet girls have so I can put that actually here instead of these nasty like things but they're doing the job well you know they're doing what they can so I'm going to start working on orders so I have all my stuff set up right now. Let me take off my glasses because it's a glare for right now. I'm going to be trying to make this. Obviously, I'm going to make it into like my own thing. But this is kind of what I'm basing my stuff off of. I'm going to be making a unicorn with yellow, pink, and purple. And then the body's going to be white. I'm using a four and a half um, size hook. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do more time lapse stuff. Or if you like me doing just the pieces, I think I'm just going to do pieces for right now. It's easier for me personally. Sorry, I'm like looking down at the camera. Um, so this is the yellow I'm going to be going with. This, uh, uh, this brunette like bright yellow. Then I'm going to be using like this pink. I think the hooves, I want them to be yellow. And I think I want the hair to have like pink, purple, and um, yellow. 
I think that's what I'm gonna go for and then I see that in this picture it has really cute how they have the eyes like lined out so I'm gonna be doing that as well so we'll see it's currently about to be 4 p.m. I wonder if I'll be able to finish this in a like afternoon if not um, I will be working on it tomorrow I'm gonna see how my hands feel because I always go back and forth depending on how I'm feeling with my hands whether it's like sometimes my hands get a little more tired with this type of yarn versus I can go all day when I'm working with acrylic yarn uh, and then tomorrow if I have to work on this tomorrow I will but I need to start working on the mushroom tops because I really want to get those to that girl as soon as possible so she can put them in her store and let me know in the comments I know I keep asking that but it's just because like I like to reply to every comment um, that I'm gonna be I don't know if you guys want to see where the like the store is how it's gonna look in the store I'll ask if she lets me record and yeah so let me know if that's something you want to see we finished the little arms. Okay, little. Ooh, I'm being watched. Hey, Jai Jai. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come here. Say hi. Come up here. Say hello. Say hi, mamas. Say hi. All right. Goodbye. Get out. Get out of the Z office. Goodbye. Go with dad. Go with papa. Thank you. So, just a little update on everything that I'm doing right now. I finished the both of the legs. I went to Costco, so it's nighttime now, but it's still early, so I'm going to keep working on it. So, we finished all four. So, two arms, two legs. Look how small they are. It's definitely going to be a small um, unicorn, so I'm so excited. Look how cute they look. So, I went ahead and I finished the body. Look how cute this is. Look at the size of it. So it will go sitting. So this pattern in particular was the type of pattern that I always have kind of like a love-hate relationship with the ones that have the like it like the legs built and the arms built because I love it because there's no way to mess up where the legs go cuz you know if you ha if you have the numbers right and the stitches right then these arms like they're going to be perfectly like where they're supposed to be but I also have a hate relationship just because sometimes it is a little tricky because you have to go through like two layers so it's like this thick layer and you have to stick it into the actual body and all that good stuff so right now I'm trying to like stuff the body so that I like the shape of it but this is basically what it's looking like right now time for me to go to sleep so this is basically what we have done. I have the body, the arms, the legs. I have this long tail so that I can sew on the head when I make the head. And we have two ears. So for this pattern, it asked me to do it in a four and a half um, millimeter hook. And that's what I used for the majority of the body. But when I was making the ears, they were really, really big with the four and a half in comparison to this body. So I took my three and a half um, milliliter hook and I did the ears so that they would be a little more, in my opinion, proportion to like the size of this. Like the ears were huge and I was like, yep, that's not going to work. I already know. So yeah, we finished that and tomorrow we will start on the head. So it's the next day. Like I said yesterday, I finished this last night or yesterday. And I started working on the head and look how cute this is. So I went ahead and put the nostrils, the little eyes. I added embroidery, embroidery to the eyes. Look how cute. I'm really glad that I changed the hook size on the ears. Because look, they even like, I just feel like they fit the head better. If they were like even bigger, I feel like it'd be too much. And so I just need to add that. So look how that's going to look. That is super cute. And then I have to make the hair and then I'm done. So I put the head on there, look how cute. Obviously we have some strings because I have to hide them. But look at this, look how cute this is. So they go sitting, so look how cute it is. So now this unicorn's just missing the tail and the hair and that's gonna really bring it together I feel. So I'm basically done, so I'm excited. <laughs> look at the unicorn, what do we think? I added the hair in the different colors we have the tail i think it looks super cute oh my gosh i'm so excited look how cute this is so i'm gonna package 
this one up and then this one up because this is the order together standing up it looks a little crazy with the dimensions wise but look at i think it's okay this one's really skinny and this one's chubby so what do we think i think this one's super cute <laughs> so i'm gonna package them up and i'm gonna get them ready for my husband to take them tomorrow to work because this is going to a co-worker so i'm excited so I was on FaceTime for the longest time with one of my like best friends from like childhood, love her to death. Um, while we were talking, I was making mushroom heads because we all know, if you've been here, how much we've been working on these mushrooms. So like I said, I had five, or I think I had five, I had five done, like full sets done. And now I'm working on the top, so one, two, three, four. And now we're on five here. And I'm at one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just, this is basically what I'm doing. Is I'm just finishing this up. This will be the seventh round. And that will mean I will have five of them. And I think ten of one color is good. Since I'm doing 30, I want to do ten of each color. So I think the next color I'm going to go into is purple. Just because I feel like that is a color that people like. And I think I'm going to offset it with like a really like pretty teal color for the next 10. Because she wants 30 in store. And I asked her if she had a preference on colors. And she did it. Seven. We have seven. And then I just need to weave in the ends on this top. This bottom. And then I'll put them in here. This is not a ghost opening up my door. It is my dog who just comes in just to open the door and just wreak havoc on my life. So I packaged this up. I put our thank you sticker as well as the Hello Kitty. And I'm going to put this in a bag for my husband for tomorrow. So these are going to be going out with him. So it's Wednesday now. I just got back home, so I'm going to start working on the mushrooms again. My husband texted me and said that the that his co-worker loved it, loved the unicorn, loved um, the Hello Kitty. So I was so excited that she did and that I think they might be ordering more. We'll see. Um, but I feel like this video and videos in the future are basically going to be you, me updating you guys on this huge mushroom order. This is like finished mushrooms all together. I did 10 red ones, so I moved on to the color of purple. How cute does that look? Actually, I'm gonna show you guys where I will be making these because I made these in a different location yesterday. It wasn't in my room, it wasn't on my living room couch, and it wasn't at my desk. Um, let me take you guys there now. Hi, welcome. We are at the new crocheting spot for the day. I, <laughs> I, have, I have a treadmill in my house. I've always had a treadmill, I have a gym garage, um, but my amazing husband, as always, was able to move this inside for the time being for me because I'm gonna be going to Hawaii in August. Going to Hawaii, going to, go to Hawaii. I'm go your girl's going to Hawaii. And I wanna look thick for Hawaii, so I really, really need to get my steps in. For those of you who don't know, um, I do have a fitness page, so your girl works out a good amount. So uh, I really need to get my steps in, and it's hot as balls in Las Vegas right now. So I can't really go out on walks um, unless I wake up really, really, really early in the morning, and I ain't gonna do that. So my husband was very nice. And I love him so much and he brought in the treadmill for me inside the house so that I can walk and I could crochet and I was like okay is this gonna work how is this gonna work but we put it up in our living room so that I can watch Love Island or whatever movie I want to watch and crochet at the same time so yesterday all those purple ones you saw I was on the treadmill walking and making um, my tops and I was getting my steps in at the same time. Are you kidding me? If that's not genius, I don't know what is. But so, it ended up working out because I don't know if you guys can see the treadmill has this like little ledge right here. And so you can put your stuff. I cleaned it, no, don't even worry about it. And so when I pull, you guys can see that? 
when I pull my knitted yarn, it just starts rolling. It's like it was meant to be. Anyway, so I'm gonna start my walk and I'm gonna put on something on the TV and I might do a time lapse. If I don't, I'm just gonna jump to the next clip. But I just wanted to show you guys. She's walking. Walk crochet. I like walking on the treadmill now solely for to make sure that I'm not sitting all day because when you're when you're someone who crochets you already know you're sitting in one spot for a really long time and I honestly think I'm only able to do this like pattern on the treadmill so easily is because it's literally just I don't really have to count once I already have the first two rows done I don't really have to focus anymore and then it's just it's just going if that makes sense Step three right here just finished oh my gosh I have made one two three four I had three purple ones five six seven and I'm working on the eighth one right now and I want to do ten of these so once I finish that one I'll be halfway there and then I have another five and then that means we done we did it we did it we hit, do you see that? 10,000 steps. Yes. Okay, so I did it. All right, now I'm gonna go on the couch. <laughs> Guys, I am so proud of myself right now because I think last time I showed you I was working on the tops of the purples and teal um, mushroom tops. Well, guess freaking what? We finished all 30 that are gonna be in the store. And I was thinking about it and I was like, this is so exciting these mother efforts are gonna be in the store and I just have to start making the rest of what I need for life is beautiful so like there's no days off um so I finished I'm gonna show you guys that right now I'll show you group by group so we have 10 red right here the 10 purple and they're going to look like different lengths right now because I'm not holding them all from like the correct spots. Uh, so that's 20. And we finished up the 10 teal ones. Look at this. We have 30 mushrooms, baby. These are so cute. I've been seeing people in the last uh, video asking for this pattern it's a free pattern that i actually got off tiktok so if you want it let me know comment down below they are so cute i love them look at this teal color guys i'm obsessed i'm about to message the shop and tell them hey i have the 30 when do you guys want me to drop it off so maybe you guys will see me do that this i think that this is so many 30 is so many and i have to make 300 bro okay my brain is excited. My brain is very, very excited. So, I'm going to have these. I'm going to package them up. I'm going to lint roll them one last time just so that they're presentable and they look great. So that they are ready for Crystal Cartel. <laughs> That's the name of the shop. So, I'm really excited. So, with that being said, I'm going to close out the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think... At the beginning of this video, I think I said we had 800 subscribers. We have 900 subscribers! Thank you guys. This is like so crazy. I appreciate everyone. Everyone is so kind in the comments. The compliments that you guys have been giving me. That you guys vibe with me and who I am. It makes me feel so good. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to comment down below what was your favorite part about this video and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one let me know if you guys want me to do the market day i have a market this saturday so chai I wanted to say bye too so we will see you guys later bye tell mama bye